Hey, what's up guys? So this is a $500 uh, tea bag and I had a list to go off of. Uh, 96th birthday, uh, mom's birthday, uh, our birth year is a 58, which is pretty cool because this is numismatic convention. You can make, maybe put her name there. Also, they are from Jersey and this right here, Mother's Day, pin back, but on the inside, uh, right there, Newark, New Jersey, which is pretty cool. And then they had uh, listed Wheaties and Indian Head Sense, so 1901, 1908. These are really in decent condition. Just a little issue on the rice there, but not bad. And then Semi Keys, 12, uh, let's see, 13, 14S, all S's, 15S, 16S, 17S. And then I went to 20S. 21, 24D, that's a nice woody right there. <laughs> Giggity go. 25D, another woody, 28. Uh, 30, let's see. So just some key dates there. And then we went here. These are all album fillers. That's one. Not bad. He did a modern commemorative. I love this one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I get it. We got this mamma jamma. Damn. So because of the graffiti and the issues that she's got going on, I am charging like nothing for this coin. But to be fair, I paid nothing for it. So I'm going to charge just a little over that. Uh, Stone Mountain. They didn't really want anything in slabs, but um, because they're going to put everything in the albums, I thought, hey, well... Why not, you know? Because now you have practice. And this is a beautiful coin, but it's got the spot removed, which doesn't make any sense to me because isn't that the spot? Like, what the frack? But anyway, you can bust this out and get some practice. I leave notes on everything, by the way. Um, this one here doesn't have any listed errors, and it's gorgeous, and they need that for their album as well. Uh, again, from Jersey. So this is the American Innovation Jersey uh, whatever coin, reverse thing. And then these are the raise no raise. Needed both for the album. Not great, but you know, not terrible. This one's better. Uh, let's see, uh, 17S on reverse, and then 34D, which is a key or semi key, I don't know. Uh, this here, 48 DDR uh, FS801. And then I do believe that it has full bell lines as well. Hope you guys can see this, but. Wait for it. So if so, this is woo we in a bigger, in a bigger, uh, or higher grade, let's see. So yeah, full bell lines in that FS801, uh, I think, whatever it was. Uh, is 700 bucks and 66. So this entire lot is 500 bucks. So if this grade comes back like that, money. And then 83 Indian head cent, 87, 89, 90, and 91. And honestly, these are shit. Excuse my language, but you guys are used to me by now. I don't like the condition of these, even though they're better dates. And so I'm not even gonna charge for them. And then he wanted an upgrade, or he wanted a type one Buffalo, and this is the only one I had, unfortunately, but it is a two feather, but it's nicodated, so I'm not gonna charge for this one either. Oh, two feather, let me teach you real quick. Sorry if I'm like, my hands are dirty or whatever. I've been working on these all day. So, right here, there should be another feather at the base of his neck. Shit, damn it. Okay, hold on, wait for it. So there's the two normal bigger ones, right? This is a shit show. One, two, and then at the base of the neck right here, there should be a third. And the die like wears down and then it just doesn't show the third. So if you ever see that, it is, it, it drastically changes the value of your coin. But because it's nicodated, I don't like the condition of it. I don't like the marks and stuff. I'm just gonna say, hey, here's a crap filler. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> But he wanted the type one. So then, yeah, and this one does have the W in it. And this, and this, and this. Is that it? So now on these, these key dates, key dates, key dates. This monster, 
this monster. Okay, so yeah, that right there, 500, what do you think?